this is the machine that I frequently dream about using, yet rarely find myself using. Strange, I know. It's not like I don't have ready access to it. It resides in my office closet, ready to be pulled out at a moment's notice and set to work. But for some reason, that doesn't happen. This was the first portable electric typewriter, made in the 1950s by Smith Corona, whose footprint is not any larger than the manual 5 series machines of its day. By more modern electric typewriter standards, it's still remarkably small. This is the Alpine Blue version with the lovely contrasting red electric logo and power on switch. Perhaps it's merely the color that's attractive to me. But no, there's more to it than that. It's because of its motorized action that makes it such an easy machine to use. A mere gentle press of the keys, maybe 5 millimeter key travel, hardly enough to budge a manual typer, and flack, a solidly dark imprint appears. I think there is an assumption with a lot of typewriter collectors that you're not supposed to feel romantic about modern machines, especially electric machines, certainly electronic machines. I can kind of get that. But I guess there's something about the 5 Series, even though it's electric, it has a motor and some drive belts and stuff, but it makes me want to use it. Now, it has that 1950s, mid-50s Smith Corona look, and maybe that's part of it. It's an older look. It's not like pre-World War II round keys and black lacquer finish, but it's pretty. It has a small footprint, really about the same size footprint as the standard manual 5 series Smith Coronas of the same era, but it really wants to make me sit down and use it because the touch, of course, is so much different than a manual typewriter. You barely press the key and boom, those type bars snap to attention and there's no effort required at all. In fact, I would almost say it's almost too light of a touch. It's easy to mistakenly hit the keys if you're not really conscious about it because it's such a light touch. This typewriter really sticks in the back of my mind. I don't use it as often as I should. Part of the reason is, of course, it's electric and you have to plug it in, so of course it's harder to find places to take it to that you'd want to use it. But something about this Type Bar Electric I really love. Well, it's 12 characters per inch, which is my favorite size typeface for stream of consciousness typing because I you know, I can put more words on a line before I have to interrupt my thinking with a carriage return. But I really like the manual carriage return. It does lend a certain sense of mechanical typewriter action to it. You feel like you're engaged in the writing process when you have to do that carriage return by hand. It reminds me that it is essentially a manual typewriter, a mechanical typewriter that's been motorized. It really is kind of the best of both worlds, I would say. You have the ease of keyboarding, like you do with an electronic or computer, but you don't have the problems of computers, and you have the immediate response of an electric machine. That spindle is turning with the, by the motor and the belts, and as soon as you press the key down a few millimeters, boom, that letter is snappily imprinted into the paper. I think if I had to par down my collection uh, of typewriters, I would probably have an ultra portable like my Groma Calibri. I would have probably this Type R Electric and a full-size upright like maybe my Royal KMM, and perhaps a thermal typewriter or so. But this would be one of the key typewriters in my collection if I pared it down. A typewriter like this would be one that I would turn to when I was doing serious long-form writing, a lot of typing, many pages to be typed. This is the machine I would use it for. And they aren't all that rare. They're not as common, though, as the manual Smith Coronas of the same era, obviously. 
But this machine is the one I think about a lot, and I need to use it more. I really do. And I hope you stay creative and have yourselves a great day. Bye-bye for now.